They're sometimes known as miracle berries, miracle fruit, but what they do is they contain something called a glycoprotein, which is present in lots of different foods, but this particular glycoprotein binds to um, taste buds and it changes your taste. So anything that normally would taste bitter or sour tastes sweet. Today's story, flavor tripping. A group of young hipsters find a distraction from the monotony of post-college life after a plethora of blog posts popped up last month about the effects of miracle fruit a small berry native to West Africa that supposedly makes sour foods taste sweet. In the 1970s, a group of scientists and entrepreneurs attempted to commercialize the miraculin protein found in the berries as a low-calorie sweetener, but was stopped short by the FDA, who many believe was bribed by the sugar industry. The craze never began, and the berry remained under the radar until May 28, 2008, when the New York Times covered a flavor-tripping party in Brooklyn and turned the heads of an internet-savvy, thrill-seeking generation, like these 10, 20-somethings, in Chicago, Illinois. The premise of the party is simple. Every guest brings a different food item, with enough for everybody to share. But as the miracle tablets are passed around, it looks less like your mother's potluck, and more like a cult meeting. Honestly, I felt like Jack, from Jack and the Beanstalk, that buying these magic beans online was only the beginning. The next thing I'd be doing would be buying bottled pheromones off QVC at two in the morning, or like gasoline additive, or robot insurance. I thought I was making a huge mistake. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> it's sweeter. It's definitely sweeter. It tastes sugar. It does taste sugar. This is the lemon. Mm. The lemon sampling. Oh, it's like man. lemonade. Holy shit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. Oh, oh, like this, this is like the steroids. This is like lemons you can eat like candy. It's much sweeter than it should be. Guinness, it's, it's good. Sweet. It's way chocolatey. Yeah. Yeah. It's like cheesecake. Pie? Yeah, right. <laughs> There's a destination a little up the road from the habitations of the towns we know. A place we saw the lights turn low, the jigsaw jazz and the get fresh flow. I think with 10 people in the room, it was safe to say it wasn't just a placebo effect. But it's hard to really know. Definitely, after 15 minutes, things became too sweet. It was like overdoing it on Halloween candy, except instead of Halloween candy, it was lemons and limes and pineapples and you know unsweetened strawberries and balsamic vinegar and hot sauce. Things that don't mix well in your stomach. The limes are almost too sweet. Like, they're too sweet. It's ridiculous. Red strawberry. Mm -hmm. Kind of meh. Okay. Oh, kind of blase. <laughs> I'm eating too fast. That's <laughs> why so I like to everything all at once. It was hard to tell whether or not the effects of the berries just wore off or whether we just lost interest. Um, but it was, it was definitely, it was definitely the most, one of the most unique experiences I've ever had. When life hands you lemons, get miracle Miraculous. fruit. <laughs>